Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Coming at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well in grace and peace to you elect around the four corners of the globe, believing and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rokaya, from the GMS Orlando camp. And I uh, found this article from studyfinds.org, and it's entitled, Half of Americans Think They'll Never Have a Pain-Free Day Again. And uh, as I'm reading this article, uh, a couple of thoughts came to my mind about how the majority of the people in the earth today experience some type of pain, whether it be physical, emotional, spiritual, you know, etc., whether it be willingly or unwillingly, you know, and oftentimes they never reap the benefits of that pain. They never that pain is never worth their while, you know, and oftentimes people are left torn and broken from the different pains they experience. You know, it leaves a void within them, whether it be spiritually, emotionally or, or physically, you know, and it had me thinking about how the Lord has given us the opportunity to rest from the pains of this world and to take upon us his yoke all right which is going to lead to a benefit that is uncomprehendable you know which i want to you know just briefly touch on tonight all right this is matthew chapter 11 and verse 29 all right it says take my yoke upon you and learn of me for i am meek and lowly in heart and ye shall find rest unto your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. All right. And through the spirit and power, Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, we've been given the opportunity to rest from the pains of this world. All right. And, to, and we've been given the opportunity to take upon us the Lord's yoke. All right. Which is no, which is no easy yoke. You know, not saying that the yoke of the Lord is easy, but the benefits of taking on this yoke are far above the benefits of taking on the yoke of this world. Because when you hear the testimonies of those who have taken on the yoke of this world, seeking some type of rest, you know, whatnot, you always hear the testimony of them being broken, torn, left empty, and so on and so forth. All right. But the yoke of the Lord has healed us up. It has mended us up. All right. And given us a greater purpose. And that's why we constantly preach through the spirit and power of Yahweh to arise and depart from this, from this world. All right. This is Micah 2 and 10. Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it shall destroy you even with a sword of destruction. All right. And this arisal is talking about spiritually and mentally. All right. The Lord will handle our physical departure later. Lord willing, we are that number. Right now, what is required of us is to arise and depart from this world spiritually and mentally. All right. And not to seek rest in this place because this place is not our rest. All right. This place will is polluted. And if you take on the ways of this world, it will pollute you eventually. All right, and that's what we see with the pe different people who have taken on the yoke of this world. They ended up being polluted. They ended up being broken or left empty. All right, all the life sucked out of them. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but uh, it says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. All right, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right? Let's get this in uh, Matthew 11 one more time. And then we'll close it out with um, Romans the 8th chapter. All right, not going to make this lesson too long. All right, just wanted to uh, speak on that quick point. All right, this is Matthew 11, and uh, we'll start at verse 28. It says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take, upon, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is is light all right and the, and the fact is we're all going to experience some type of pain uh in this world whether it be emotional physical or spiritual all right but if you're going to go through some pain why not make it worthwhile all right why not why not take on take upon you the yoke of your by shimia was shy and reap the benefits all right of that of that yoke man you know this is romans chapter 8 in verse 18, it says, For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. All right. The present the present sufferings that we go through, you know, in this day and age, uh, by taking the yoke upon us, by taking Yahweh Shemiah's yoke upon us, cannot compare, you know, with the glory that's going to be revealed within the Lord's elect. All right. And the yoke of the Lord is doing the will of the, uh, doing the work, 
All right, doing the will. All right, repenting, reforming your life. All right, and all these things ultimately lead unto life. All these things ultimately are for your benefit. All right, the Lord told us to stop committing adultery. That was for our benefit. The Lord told us uh, how to eat, you know, what things to eat, what not, things not to eat. That was for our benefit. The Lord told us and, and gave us instruction on how to treat our brethren, all right, how to deal in the world. And that was for our benefit, all right? All the yoke, the yoke of the Lord is ultimately beneficial, all right, to us, all right? But with that being said, man, all right, just had that quick point that was uh, in my mind, man. You know, if you're going to experience some type of pain, why not make it worthwhile? All right, it's time to take on the yoke of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and do the work. All right, it's time to repent, you know, so that we may reap the benefits of this yoke later. All right, Shalom.